Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the two Wave 3 Battle Masters from Transformers Siege, War for Cybertron Trilogy. We have Caliburst and Smashdown. So two very cool Battle Masters. Uh, as you can probably tell, we'll get into this more in a little bit, but uh, Caliburst is a repaint of Blowpipe from Wave 1, but Smashdown is brand new. Kind of a anthropomorphic bull dude who's just pretty awesome i don't know <laughs> but we'll get into it more in a minute take a look at the back real quick you can see he transforms into a hammer he transforms into a gun and then of course they can be held by any of the figures they're just showing off starscream and springer i'm pretty sure that this is like the wave three uh voyagers since there isn't a second new one for wave three there's just springer every time i go to target there's more and more star screams so somebody is stealing all the springers <laughs> they started with three now we're up to five star screams so somebody's getting springer it's just not me in any case let's go ahead we'll get these two guys out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look all right so here are caliburst and smashdown out of the packaging we'll save smashdown to last because honestly he's the one i'm more excited about but here's Caliburst, and it's a really nice color scheme. I like the purple and the black. I think it's a classic combo for Decepticons. Uh, gold face and red visor, very sharp as well. Looks very good. Uh, just for comparison, here is Blowpipe, just so you can see that it really is just a repaint. You can even see that the guns on the back are exactly the same. So, if you liked Blowpipe, you'll probably like Caliburst. Very simple transformation, flip that up, peg the feet together, the waist will rotate up like this, and then these two pegs on the end of the feet will peg in right here and here, so you just bring those down, make sure that the feet don't become unpegged from each other, and then you can see that there's a little tab on the inside of the forearm, that's going to peg into the hip, so you just bring that up. And then there you go. There is your target master mode. Again, I think it looks cool. I really like the effect piece. I think that's really neat. Go ahead and plug that in. Whoops, I'm doing it backwards. There you go. So very cool effect piece there. Um, I'll show him off being held by a larger robot in a moment. But very neat. Putting him off to the side. Here is Smashdown. Again, he's a weird little robot with a bull head. Uh, very cool. He does come with this piece, which is the handle. If you want to take it off, you can. I mean, it comes not attached. If you want to take it off each time, you can. But you can see it just slides in right here. Um, I have it upside down. There we go. Slides in like this. There we go. So you can see how the notch is. I'm st I still don't have it 100% correct. There we go. Get that all the way in there. So you can leave it off the back because then it kind of looks like a tail for his bull form. Or like I said, if you want to take it off each time you're not using it as an axe, you can certainly do that. Transformation, put the arms straight out like this. Bring the head down. The head's on a ball joint. I guess I should I should have showed off articulation for this guy as well. It's the same as blowpipe. So the arms and the legs are on ball joints. Head static. Uh, this guy, his head is on a ball joint, and then his arms and his uh, hips are on ball joints. Arms and legs are one solid piece, as you'd expect. So you flip this around like that. You have to bend him at the waist like that. Then you're going to swing this around, and then these will peg into each other, as you can see. So swing that around, that pegs in there, drop that down, and there you go. There is your hammer. Bring in your massive effect piece, and you can see that it can plug into either end. So you just go ahead and plug that in, and then boom, you're making big impacts with a giant hammer. I think the hammer looks great. It's very interesting, uh, new weapon that we're seeing, so very excited about that. But yeah, definitely... Very impressed with the hammer. I think that's really fun. So here is Red Alert modeling both of these for us. I don't have any Wave 3 Decepticons yet, so still waiting on that. I mean, I guess technically I do have uh, Brunt, but he doesn't have traditional hands. He's got pincer claws. 
But yeah, they both look great. Like I said, love the hammer. I think that looks good. I think Caliburst looks great with the effect piece, and I love that color scheme. So they can fit into any of the ports. Obviously, they fit into the hands if you want to mount them on the shoulders instead. I know it can go in here. Why won't you just do it? There you go. You can give him like a... That actually kind of looks cool. A little shoulder cannon. It's kind of neat. Uh, the only thing I wish, and this is a very minor complaint... Uh, for characters that do have a peg on the back, I kind of wish that there was a peg like here so you could take the effect piece off and kind of store it on his back like a like a melee weapon, like you would a sword or something like that. Again, very, very minimal complaint, but I thought that would have been neat. But he does have all these pegs, so you can take these other effect pieces if you want for some reason. And peg them onto. He's got all these like. It looks like a Lego block really. <laughs> He's got so many pegs around the side. So you do have that option. But yeah I really think they both look great. Loving both of these Battle Masters. And the effect piece for both are very very cool. I think both of these guys are great. I definitely think you should pick up Smashdown. I think he's the better of the two because he's an original mold. And it's kind of an original weapon. Don't really see too many hammers, so I think that's a really nice touch. Uh, Caliburst is a repaint of Blowpipe, but I think it's a great repaint. The color scheme works well for Decepticons. The face is painted well. And I mean, Target Masters are great. I'll take as many as you want to give me, so I recommend picking them up. But I would say if you have to be like on a budget or something and you can only pick one, uh, Smashdown is definitely the more unique, better of the two. But that's not to discount caliber. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.